When you want to make changes to a PDF file, but you don't have the time or tools to edit the source file, you can use Acrobat 11 to edit the PDF file. Here I have a PDF open in Acrobat 11. If I click on Tools, under the Content and Editing panel, I can click Edit Text and Images. Acrobat shows me exactly what I can edit. So let's add some text to this bottom box on the fourth floor. And you'll notice Acrobat reflowed the text in that bottom paragraph for me. Find and replace is just as easy. I can go through the Edit menu or just click Control F. And what about images? Cropping or rotating? Or in this case, let's swap in another image of the new reception. With Acrobat 11, you can make edits right in the file and make your job easier. Many people think that PDF is a static format and that content is locked inside. But with Acrobat 11, you can save time from retyping that information by exporting it directly into Microsoft Word and Excel. And with Acrobat Pro, you can export it into Microsoft PowerPoint as well. So here's a file I have in Acrobat. And if I click on Tools, Content Editing, and Export File to Microsoft PowerPoint, let's go ahead and save go over to my folder. And as it comes up, I can open it in PowerPoint. And I can see that all the content and editing came over, including things like bullets and the master layout. In another PDF document, I can select, for instance, a table. And I can export this to Word, but I'm going to choose to export it to Excel. I'll do a right click, export selection as. Let's do an Excel workbook. Save. Again, go over to my folder and open up the Excel file. And again, the content and the format all came over great. Acrobat 11 saves you the hassle of retyping that information so you can get your job done faster. There are many occasions when you will need to take different pages from different files and arrange them into a single PDF document. Acrobat 11 now makes that task faster and easier than ever. Let me show you how. In Acrobat 11, I'm going to choose the Combine Files into PDF command. This will open the Combine Files dialog box, where I can add files from various locations. Here I'm going to choose a number of different files in different formats to merge together. The new thumbnail preview will allow me to look at the files before I bring them together. And working with them is just like working with presentation slides. I can go ahead and arrange this file to be the first one, and I can work with pages contained within the files too. I don't need these last two slides here, so I'll remove them from the resulting PDF document. I can also bring this spreadsheet file in the middle of the presentation file. I'll then go ahead and click Combine Files. Let's take a look at the resulting PDF file. It contains all the pages I need in exactly the right order. Thanks to Acrobat 11, communicating more effectively is easier than ever with a single, clear, well-organized PDF file. When document security is important, Acrobat 11 allows you to easily apply security options in a few steps. Using the Acrobat toolbar in Microsoft Office applications, you can set your document security options. Just select Acrobat, then Create PDF, then Protect PDF, and you'll see your options for securing the opening or permissions of the document right here. You can also set permissions directly in a PDF file to prevent others from changing your document. Within Acrobat, Select File, Properties, then we'll select Password Security. You'll set your permissions for printing or editing the document. Then you'll use your password so that if you need to change your permissions, you can. I'll confirm my password and save, and then my file is secure. There's even a lock option to notify users that you've protected the file. 
With Acrobat 11, you can distribute PDF documents with confidence knowing your information is protected. Acrobat 11 Pro lets you quickly remove sensitive, personal, and hidden information so that you can distribute your file knowing that your confidential data doesn't get revealed to others. This is done using redaction tools. Within Acrobat, I'll just select Tools, then Protection, then Mark for Redaction. And I'll walk through the document selecting the text or image information that I want to remove. I can also select Search and Remove Text to automatically find and redact words, such as repeating text or patterns, like email addresses. I'll click Search and Remove, select the information that I want to remove, and mark those for redaction as well. When I'm finished, I'll click Apply Redactions, and my visible content is permanently removed. But what about that information that's not easily visible, like document properties, attachments, or stored form data? Acrobat 11 Pro will prompt me to remove that hidden information. Acrobat will scan through the document and allow me to review what's been identified. When you're ready, select Remove, and you're done. The visible and invisible sensitive information has been permanently deleted. With Acrobat 11 Pro, you can easily redact and sanitize files so that you can distribute them with confidence. Designing forms that both work correctly and look professional can take time, especially when you're starting from scratch. With the new Adobe Form Central desktop app included with Acrobat 11 Pro, it's easy to create a great PDF or web form in a matter of minutes. Here's the new Form Central desktop app, and I can create a new blank form, or I can start with a template. I can choose one of many professionally designed templates. Let's click on the Feedback category and choose Contact Us. Here's the starting point for my form. Let's go ahead and change this up. I'll go ahead and double click on the image to change that to our corporate logo. And we'll size and position that in just the right place. We'll change the background color to match as well. To add a new field, just click on the plus sign and choose the type of field you would like. Edit your label and specify which options you'd like the form fillers to select. Now we don't want that stacked vertically, so we'll deselect that and we'll specify that it's required. And that's how easy and intuitive it is to create a great form in a matter of minutes with the new Adobe Form Central desktop app and an Acrobat 11 Pro. Have you ever emailed multiple files in different formats only for the recipient to not see the big picture because of the jumble of attachments? Well, Acrobat 11 Pro allows you to take those different files in different formats and combine them into a single PDF portfolio that's easy for your recipients to understand and work with. In Acrobat 11 Pro, I'll go ahead and choose the Create button here and PDF Portfolio. I'll need to choose a layout or look and feel for my portfolio first. Let's choose this one here, and then I'll go ahead and add the files that I want to include. I'm going to grab files in different formats here to incorporate into this PDF portfolio, and then click Open. So here's my initial PDF portfolio. I can customize this further. Let's arrange the file so that this document here appears first, and let's go ahead and title this so it's easier to understand what it's all about. I can also change the look and feel. Let's apply this visual theme here to completely change the appearance so it matches our corporate branding, for example. We can change the colors too if we wish. We can add a background here. Let's add a new background image. And once we've selected that, we can go ahead and change the positioning and also apply effects. I can add my corporate logo to the header area too. Let's go ahead and choose our logo here, and we're pretty much done. Let's click on Preview to check this out, and here is my finished PDF portfolio with all the files contained within.
With Acrobat 11 Pro, it's easy to be able to communicate effectively with a single, well-organized PDF portfolio. Figuring out how to distribute forms and then collect and analyze the data can be challenging. With the new Adobe Form Central desktop app included with Acrobat 11 Pro, the process is much simpler. Here is my form design ready to send out. I'll click on the Distribute tab, and from here I can send my form as a web HTML form with the relevant links, or I can send out a PDF form for others to fill out. Adobe Form Central takes care of collecting the responses for me once this form has been sent. To view those, I'll click on the View Responses tab. Here I can see all the responses I've received so far, and I can sort and filter these as necessary. I can also generate a summary report that gives me a visual indication of how we're doing with our form. And I can export this and share it with others as images in my presentation or as a PDF report. With the new Adobe Form Central desktop app included with Acrobat 11 Pro, distributing, collecting, and analyzing forms is much simpler. Getting feedback on your documents from multiple colleagues can be a pain. Acrobat 11 automates the process of gathering feedback with shared document reviews. Here's a document that I want to send out to the team so that I can gather their feedback. The comment pane has everything I need. I'll click Send for Shared Review. And I need to select where I'd like those comments to be stored. That can be on an internal web, network, or SharePoint server. Or I can use the online hosted service at Acrobat.com. I can select my reviewers directly from my address book. And I can even set a review deadline so that I make sure I get my comments in a timely way. Once the review process is underway, I can see the comments directly on the page or in the comments list. And everyone on the team can see and build on each other's feedback, saving time with fewer emails and meetings. If I click Track Reviews, I can select the document and email all the reviewers a note, add additional reviewers, or even change the review deadline. With Acrobat 11, sending a document out for shared review allows you to collect feedback in one place, fast. You converted a Word document to PDF and sent it for review. Your colleagues have submitted their comments. Do you have to manually apply those suggested edits to the original Word document? No. Acrobat 11 can help. Here's a document that has comments on it. In my comment pane, I'm going to go to the Options menu and select Export to Word. I only want to export the comments that I've checked. And I'm going to turn on Track Changes so that I can see where the changes take place in the Word document. The Word document opens up automatically, and it even prompts me to integrate the text edits. Here's a suggestion to delete a word. I'll go ahead and apply that deletion. And then with a single click, I'll apply all the remaining text edits. Because I had Track Changes turned on, I can see where Acrobat made the changes for me in the Word document. With Acrobat 11, you can quickly apply review changes to your Word documents without the hassle of doing it manually. When you need an approval signature, paper documents can take too long. Acrobat 11 and Adobe EchoSign let you approve PDF documents in seconds by signing electronically. I have everything I need in my sign panel. I can add my name to the signature box, and I can click to place my signature. I can type my signature. I can draw it on a touchpad. I can use an existing image or a digital certificate. I'll go ahead and type it today. I can even change my signature style. I'll click to stamp the signature on the page, and I can easily resize and position it. When I click Send Signed Document, Acrobat uploads the document to EchoSign. The EchoSign subscription service is the easiest way to get your documents signed, tracked, and filed. It's as easy as filling out an email. After everybody signs the document, 
EchoSign emails a PDF copy to each party and stores a backup copy in your EchoSign account. With Acrobat 11 and Adobe EchoSign, approving documents is quick and easy. If your organization has a standard way of preparing documents, it may be challenging to have everyone follow those rules consistently. Acrobat 11 Pro helps you prepare files the same way every time. It's easy with guided actions. In Acrobat, I'll select Tools, then the Action Wizard, and I'll see a list of built-in actions available for me. In this case, we'll use Prepare for Distribution. I can see all the steps of the action with instructions, and I can add additional files if necessary. To run the action, I'll click Start, and Acrobat will lead me through the tasks that I need to prepare this document. First, I'll remove hidden information. Next, I'll add a watermark. And next, I'll add a header and a footer. And finally, Acrobat will prompt me to save the file. And the action is complete. Acrobat 11 Pro helps you prepare your documents consistently and quickly. Preparing accessible PDF documents that can be used by people with visual impairments or other disabilities is important to all of us. Let me show you how Acrobat 11 Pro makes it easy. The Make Accessible action walks me through all the steps. Let's start. The first thing we need to do is add the document description. I'll add the document title. If this was a scanned document or a form, Acrobat 11 Pro would make it searchable or detect the fillable form fields for me. The language of the document must be set, so the action takes care of that. Next, I'll enter alternate text for images in the document. Finally, Acrobat 11 Pro will run a full accessibility check and generate a report showing if there are any errors. And the Make Accessible action is complete. Acrobat 11 Pro helps you quickly prepare documents that meet international standards for accessibility.